So we're back at the beginning. We're going to head towards the Hacienda, the one that we to get in. It's through this building here. So we all get to go through. Apparently there's a grave to the back they say. I didn't get a chance to see it, I'll try. Uh, we're gonna walk right past it apparently. This is the place that we were with the tires. I didn't go outside though, apparently go outside. And this is the pathway towards the hacienda. There's lots of crosses everywhere where people were supposedly buried. This is creepy. Let's turn this light a little brighter. More old tires. Old abandoned buildings. Okay. Walk inside and see what there is. It's like more rooms. Oh, it was a bathroom. See, this was a bathroom. There's the old urinal. This was a bathroom stall, I'm guessing. Yeah, there's the pipes for the toilets. In here, showers. Wow. And se ve como sauna o algo. Sí, no, se ve como un sauna. Looks like it's a sauna or some sort of thing. Weird. Let's <laughs> continue on. Who knows what this room was? Lots of old packages. Bushes. Tons of graffiti look always. Fantasmas <laughs> borrachos. <laughs> the baristas. Let's go into this last room here. Looks like it was a bedroom. Small little bathroom. So this was a room that someone lived in. I don't want to be the last one in here. So let's get out. It's dinero. Look at that is. No, but I know it's a good one. Oh, get back out. Oh. Apparently. People like coming out here to drink either that or there's some really alcoholic ghosts around. <laughs> More houses up there. Okay.
These are all little homes that people lived in. More bush outside. It's like the dead jungle out here. It's creepy. Apparently, according to the tour guide, this place uh, still has a owner. It's totally abandoned because whatever they were... Uh, oh, that's never a good sign. Caution tape. Why would you have caution tape? <laughs> yeah, so apparently it's still owned by someone and... Uh, because whatever factory they had fell through, they don't need it anymore. So it's just abandoned. But one guy owns it all, one guy and his family. Another bathroom here, but there's even a urinal. Ooh, it stinks in there, like sewage. Sewage. Mm. Oh, the water tank up on the roof there. Apparently, this is like a little backyard uh, patio area. People say that they to come and hang out. <laughs> so you see there's little stone chairs and tables all over the place. <sighs> Imagine back in the prime, this was a really beautiful place to stay. waiting for our turns there's a very rough hilly pathway out here hilly and stony so we gotta be real careful don't want to kill ourselves Gabriela falta más ah Okay. <laughs> this one building here is where people from the town would come to do their witchcraft. It's supposed to be a very spiritual place. You find uh, even nowadays people from the surrounding villages will come here and they need to do witchcraft. They do it. There's the altar. Look. S someone left. Someone left sweets. Heard you here they did all their rituals. So there's still some people nowadays who do it from surrounding towns, the bathroom areas, and sacrifice animals and chickens on this altar here. Who knows who left the suits here? Something bad. Bad on the roof. 
It's a creepy place. This is the outside, I guess, like the backyard or something. And over here, looks like they got more of a little lounge seating area. Looks like another bathroom. And wow. Look at this. What is this? Looks like so it's Women pool or some sort of thing? I don't know. It's such a weird place. It's a whole field down here. Maybe they played sports or something. I have no clue. More jungle, more chairs, and what used to be tables. This looks like it was a septic tank. That is deep. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting old hacienda. Two kids are calling us back. I don't like us to separate too much because we don't know if there's animals out here. There could be people, you know, in the bushes. There could be robbers, whatever, banditos. So, I'm gonna continue the tour on that side. I don't like to be left behind, so. Let's hurry up and catch up with them. We'll continue on the tour. Going further and further in. Already the Hacienda, it's like a, it's a round, so. We start on one side, we go all the way around and end up right back where we started. And there's a cross here. This is back where we started. Look at the cross. <laughs> wow. And that was the end of the tour of Mizne Balam. Not too creepy actually, but it was pretty cool. Uh, gotta thank before I end this video, the guys from uh, Mochileros Yucatan. I'll put their info in the description, you guys can find them if you want to do some of these cool tours. This one cost me uh, 250 pesos. I can't remember what that is in Canadian, I'll put it below. But thanks for joining me on the tour, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, plenty more videos coming up.